And it looks like Sen will just be poking the front doors. But against this many spine crawlers and roaches and infestors, I think Sen would be wise to hold back. Although, oh, here we go. He's coming in with a crap ton of roaches. He's actually fallen behind in economy. It seems as he's uh, he's uh, hasn't been producing any drones. He's been producing mass roaches. He's thinking about breaking down TLO's back right now, just as TLO is fresh on his new hatchery. But there's a lot of spine crawlers. Good defense from TLO using that fungal growth to keep the roaches at bay and it is whittling the roaches down this fungal growth does about 36 damage i believe and it is doing quite a bit to the roaches the roaches now will have to face a grid of spine crawlers and sen here is constantly getting his roaches caught out of position by the fungal growth beautiful fungal growth from tlo uh, holding back the aggression from the roaches but i think there might just be too many here uh tlo could be in a lot of trouble he has five more roaches on the way but he has to hold his defensive stand right here right now he's using his queens to transfuse the spine crawlers and a fresh new uh, reinforcement route of roaches coming out of the hatcheries for tlo i think tlo is going to hold off this aggressive push. Sen even bringing his spine crawlers along with him to try to add a little bit extra DPS, but those spine crawlers' days are numbered and they are going to get picked off. So TLO holds off the attack and now TLO is the one with the advantage. He's got the stronger economy and he should have the slightly larger army as well. Yes, indeed. So now Sen trying to go for a massive attack didn't quite pay off. Um, and he is now definitely behind in the game. He needs to make something happen. Uh, perhaps uh, he still has map control with his speedlings. That's the one thing he's got in favor of him. What he needs to do is transfer some of his workers over. There we go, just as I say. Transferring over workers over to the natural and try to get a third expansion up and try to bust out a couple of upgrades um, before TLO gets too strong of an economy and starts to push out. It looks like TLO has also rushed the Hive technology, and he's got Ultra's Cavern on the way. So TLO here, being relentless, gonna go for quick, quick Ultras off of two bases. Ultra's Cavern is halfway complete. Uh, it looks like Sen realizing that he's gonna need Infestation technology as well, because he's definitely be been behind in the tech all game long. And you guys saw that in that last battle, the technology favoring TLO uh, was able to come out ahead with his Burrowed Roaches, with his Infestors using Fungal Growth. And Sen, now realizing that, is going to try to get some Infestors of his own. But now he's going to be facing up against the third tier, third tier of technology from TLO, and that is the Mighty Mighty Ultralisk. So, I think Sen here could be in a lot of trouble. Looks like he's going to try to get a gold expansion down, and TLO likewise will be getting his gold expo as well. The, the, the next critical component in this game to determine who's going to win is going to come down to these gold expansions and as to who can hold on to these because they are very much in the open, very exposed, and either player can take a very large lead by picking off one of those hatcheries early on. Um, and it looks like Sen here thinking about doing that. He has a slightly larger army. His plus one upgrade is about to finish, and he's coming in here with quite a large army of roaches. He can actually snipe off this hatchery, which would be so huge because TLO will be behind in economy. It looks like the roach is going to focus fire the hatchery, and the hatchery is canceled. No, it gets picked off. And Sen is going to lose some of his roaches as a result of that attack, but well worth it in my opinion, as now he's got his gold hatchery up, and that income for Sen is just going to skyrocket in the next couple of minutes. And TLO has to get his gold hatchery up, but he is now definitely behind after losing that hatchery, and he may just have to make an attack with his Ultralisks when they pop out. Uh, I honestly don't think that, that Tila will be able to keep up, not not now, not with Sen getting this gold income rolling in, and uh, Tila will have to definitely make something happen. It's actually kind of, it, there's a changing right there, blocking the hatchery from going down. Uh, it's actually kind of, it's really alarming, like I said before, how how quickly the pace in ZVZ can change. One minute sends ahead, then the next minute TLO's ahead when he defends his natural, and then the next minute with that hatchery going down, now Sen is ahead, and it, it really is. I mean, look at Sen, uh, 1,200 minerals over 600. I believe the army also favoring, no, actually favoring TLO a little bit, as he's got these bulky, beefy, ultras out 
but uh, I, I don't know. I think that Sen, the, as the minutes tick onwards, Sen is going to continue to pull ahead, and I think TLO knows that. He has to make an attack happen. Here comes his ultras. This is the battle we've all been waiting for. Uh, watch that APM. 300 APM from Sen, and Sen here, oh my goodness, great fungal growth on both sides, catching Sen's uh, flanking forces of roaches from the right side, and this ultra is going to work on Sen's roaches on the left. Oh man, Sen in a lot of trouble. We even have some burrowed infestors. Looks like they could possibly land down some fungal growth, and the ultra is just mauling all the drones at the gold expansion. Devastating blows here from TLO, and TLO showing how powerful it is to quickly tech up to that third tier of technology for the Zerg. And it looks like Sen there suffering heavy, heavy casualties as a result. Uh, TLO still has some forces alive, and he is going to burrow his roaches. And, oh, Infestor gets picked off, and uh, Sen bringing, bringing his Overseer back in range, and he is going to be able to clean off TLO's attack, I believe. It is still a very close battle. Sen, keep in mind, has plus one, plus one, whereas TLO has zero, zero. So, uh, yeah, TLO will have to fall back here to send superior upgrades. But the battle continues to rage onward, macroing more and more forces. Queen's even coming off here to help possibly transfuse, but the Ultra dies. And I think Sen, with his superior upgrades, will force the fallback from TLO. And TLO, oh, man, uh, he did a lot of damage to the economy. But uh, I do believe that Sen right now has a much larger army. No, just a little bit larger. 102 over 83. But keep in mind, once again, as I've always said, upgrades are really a huge deal in mirror matchups. And now the expansion for TLO, the gold expansion, in danger of going down. And Sen, he is behind an economy. He has to kill off this hatchery if he wants a chance at winning this game. If he doesn't pick off the hatchery, then he will be in a lot of trouble. And we can see right now TLO realizing that as well, burrowing his spine crawlers to defend. The roach is also burrowing to regenerate health, but there are so many plus one, plus one roaches here. They're pushing their way forward. And oh man, TLO has to hold on to this hatchery. If he loses this hatchery, that is an even greater blow than Sen losing a couple of his drones like earlier on. And it looks like TLO realizing that, trying to transfuse the hatchery to keep it up. Ultra is leading the charge. These ultras have to hold on. Uh, TLO here in a desperate situation. There are too many roaches. And oh my goodness, Sen with great micro, pulling his roaches back. Look at that APM, 264. And he is gonna get one last volley off on the gold hatchery. And the hatchery falls. And just like that, Sen's mission is complete. TLO now is in a world of hurt. Because, I mean, you guys can see TLO has better harvester tabs. He's got 48 over 39. But honestly, he's only got one mining base. And 48 harvesters on one mining base is much less effective than 39 on a natural and on a gold. And TLO knows that. He knows he has to make something happen. He tried to be sneaky with some burrowed roaches, but unfortunately, Sen all over that with an overseer. He's going to pick that off. His upgrades are continuing to roll in. 1 2 now, whereas TLO is still on that measly 0 0 upgrade. And TLO is quickly in danger of losing game number two. All you TLO fans out there might just be disappointed here because Sen is looking very aggressive. Uh, good fungal growth from TLO to hold back the Roach Assault. But uh, I think this is just buying the inevitable. Unless TLO can buy enough time to get his gold hatchery back up and get saturation rolling again, I don't see how I don't see how TLO can win this game. That's a lot of roaches. Here comes another movement. L look at the army tabs: 162 over 100. So that kind of tells a story right there. Uh, the story of you and me and how Sen is about to roll TLO. He's got a ton of roaches. Uh, the spine crawler is even dying from lack of nutrition from the creep. And here comes the attack we've been waiting for. This could be the nail in the coffin. The gold hatchery in danger of falling. TLO coming out with all of his forces, whatever he can muster. He's got to try to keep this, uh, this base alive, but the ultra's dying to focus fired roaches. And I think this will be GG. TLO here with a very creative game, but calls GG. Uh, opening with that double gas, opening with very fast tech. And unfortunately for him, never really had an advantage. Except when he defended off his natural expansion, but he wasn't really able to capitalize on that. And as a result, Sen takes game number two. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this broadcast. Definitely an interesting ZVZ. And not the standard, you know, Bane Ling Ling mass roach strategy. We definitely saw some creative creativeness coming out from TLO. But Taiwan takes this game over Germany, takes game number two. 
And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Once again, I'm probably in Dallas already, and I've probably already lost my matches, and I'm probably QQing in a corner. But for all you guys who's, who've been supporting me, thank you so much. And uh, yeah, I'm about to get on my airplane flight to go to Dallas. Uh, once again, this video was made before I left, but uh, I the video was uploaded while I was in Dallas. So yeah, very confusing. But thanks a lot for all the support, guys, and I'll see you guys next time. HD, signing out.